I think that they can really learn from this experience. I think that they can take away that anyone can do this if you just have the mindset for it and have the dedication and motivation. It's cool to get to work with kids and to volunteer and so they know, you know, we're not just a softball team, we're not just athletes. We also like to be involved in the community and we like to help people and we like to volunteer. For me, as a contractor for the NCAA, one of my main jobs is to arrange all the community engagement events for all of our national championships. So a really unique opportunity to come to Denver and have six national championships in one city at one time. So this week we will have had 750 student athletes interact at eight elementary schools, two middle schools, two boys and girls clubs, a YMCA, a children's hospital, and a veterans hospital. It's a benefit to the community like any event that comes into town. Maybe there's a kid out there who's wondering what their future in sports is. And we've had a lot of kids from boys and girls clubs, from local schools come out and watch. Bit of a chance to be inspired as well by watching great athletes perform. I think it's a great opportunity for us to reach out and pay Denver back for hosting us by being active in the community with our student athletes, but more importantly, bringing the community back into our championships to watch our student athletes compete and realize one day they can grow up to be a student athlete on the field or on the court, just like our student athletes are today. Getting to see different sports besides just softball and everything and all the different activities they have set up for the student athletes makes it all the more better and more exciting for us. It's a different experience than we had last year, so kind of get the best of both worlds and just being with all these other amazing teams that have you know, worked hard all season and are here now with us. We're just like lucky to be here with everyone and our women's lacrosse team is actually here as well, so we're excited to watch them play on the field as well and hopefully they'll come to a few of our games and it'll just be like a good environment. And I gotta say festival has been a whole new experience, um, seeing a ton of other teams, there's things set up for athletes all over the town. It's amazing, it's awesome. Well, I mean, this is like something we've never been before. I mean, I'm a senior now, so this is it for me. Um, the first year and the past two years have been at really close places, Maryland and then Roanoke, Virginia, the past two years. This is really cool, getting on a plane with all your best friends and just doing what you love and being able to come here. And it's just really cool, really cool experience. Make it yours, really covers three different pillars is what I like to say. And those three different pillars are the community engagement, academics, and athletics. And this week, they have the opportunity to hit a number of those pillars and really make this Division II festival this tremendous opportunity their own. The championship festivals are all about the student athlete. It's a way for us to provide a, a unique once in a lifetime experience for our Division II student athletes. The spotlight is on them for a week and that's exactly why we try to do the festivals the way that we do them is because we want this to be a once in a lifetime experience for the student athletes that are here competing for this week and we want them to walk away and remember the opportunities that they had in Division II and look back on the festival as something that they really remember as part of their collegiate career. You're hoping to give a student athlete, anytime they compete in a championship, a memory they'll carry with them for the rest of their life. And so, championship by itself is pretty special. Having six of them going on at the same time, that's, that's definitely creating memories and it's worth that effort for that reason. It was awesome to be at Mile High Stadium to see that. We got to see the fireworks, that was pretty cool. To have the president of the NCAA there was really cool. So there's a lot of different things that we got to experience that we never got to do in the past. Not only are we excited to be in the Final Four, but to be the year that the festival is taking place is a great opportunity for us. We're really excited um, just about the opportunity and the involvement of what festival is has just been a great experience so far for our team. I think that's the great thing about the festival, that more than one team sometimes from a school participates and they're rooting on each other, they're sharing the same experiences. It's an enhanced experience than what your traditional championship you get to do.
the end of the week, we want we want the, the student athletes and the coaches to walk away from the festival thinking that it, it's something that's going to stick with them for a long, long time. And, and, and that's our goal, and, and that's what we all work hard to do, and, and hopefully we succeed in that.